Here we are right back. Before you know it, another week's passed. Last week's video was this painting here. This week we're going to be looking at commissions. I've recently had a commission for a painting and believe it or not, it's going to be in the same square format, which is the size that this person has requested. Now this is my first commission piece, so I am a little bit nervous. So I hope this video is going to be useful for you at home because I think there's going to be some tips in there that will probably help you when you get your first commission piece as well. And a good thing about this commission is they've seen me do sort of my square art in this format, this size. I'm going to take last week's painting down and get a brand new canvas up and we're going to get on with this week's commission piece. Everybody all around me says these are my fights but that don't change the fact that I want it all I want to do is sing a song for you so you don't have to cry no more I suppose the daunting question about a commission piece is what do I actually paint now? Usually the person knows the type of style that you paint in. Now I haven't been painting too long and to be honest I think my style, I sort of know where my style is but I'm still sort of developing my style. So the first thing is yeah they, they sort of recognise your style and they probably want something along those lines. Right, tip number one is to get to know your customer. They've obviously asked you to commission a piece, so it's time for you to get to know them. So the way that I've gone about this is I probably treated this a bit, a bit like how I sort of design a brand for somebody. I get to know them, I get to know them as a customer, and I get to know what that customer is looking to achieve. Initially, you wanna ask them a few questions, so you wanna sort of tend to know what type of colors they like, what type of colors they don't like, what type of style were they looking for? And also number one, the key most important thing I think to doing a commission is where is the piece of art gonna be hung when it's completed? Is it gonna be for a business? Is it gonna be for a home? Is it gonna be for a home office? Is it gonna be in a public space? Um, they, these are all questions that you really need to find out when somebody's asked you to paint a commission. Now, I was a little bit worried because the person that's asked me to paint this said it's for their bedroom. But yeah, one of the biggest worries that struck me straight away was, is it gonna go on a wall where there's gonna be wallpaper? I believe one of the most important things in art as well is to be hanging a piece that is completely right with the surroundings that the piece is hung on. That was really one of my sort of first worries when I found out it was gonna be for a bedroom is what does the bedroom look like? So the very first thing that I've done is I contacted the customer and I said, could you please send me a picture of the area that the painting is gonna be going on? That way I can sort of see the color scheme of the room. Uh, I'm looking at sort of furnishings as well, you know, what, what are the colors of the furnishings? Are they gonna be in keeping with the piece that I'm gonna be painting? So then when that piece of art is on the wall, it looks as though it's sort of all in keeping with the room. So yeah, that was one of my first questions was I wanna sort of see where the piece is gonna be hung. Thankfully, she sent the photo through and I've got to say, it's a contemporary room. The wall's almost white, it's a bedroom. There's some really nice furnishings and to be honest, the, the colors are sort of key to what I, been painting recently as well. So I think this one, I'm gonna keep really, really simple. Right, let's crack on with this. I've got a new camera down here on the palette so you can sort of see the colors that I'm mixing. Okay, so I've just got some Payne's Gray, some white, and we're using some Art Discount Blue as well into the mix. This that I've poured out is some paint conditioner which is gonna help the paint go a little bit further. And we're just gonna get some gloss medium out as well to sort of go in with that paint. Right, I'm going to get some paint down. So yeah, I'm going to do a series of different sort of colours all the way down the piece. I'm going to start off with sort of a nice lightish colour at the very top. do is probably do sort of two thicknesses of this brush down before I then go into my next colour. Alright for the next colour I, I want to sort of go with the nice deep dark blue so mixing up some of that 
Payne's grey into this blue. I'm in the car, trying to pick the music. You say that you like it. I'll never tell, but it took me three days to make a damn CD. It sounded like you to me. There were so many throwaways. so scary. Okay, I want to go back to grey again. Uh, but probably gonna put a hint of blue in there, a touch of yellow. When the customer sent me through their photo, I noticed in the photo they had like a, a silver cushion on there and a couple of blue cushions. This is now the stage where I want to sort of tie in some of the furnishings with the painting as well. Same brush, just picking up on some of the paint conditioner and scanning with some of the silver and the white. I'm just gonna paint that in into the next section under it. I want to try and now just get a bit of that silver in this top part. Right, the next section below it, I'm going to stick in some of this bronze colour. And I'm just mixing that up with the silver and the white as well. I think that's going to look quite nice in the middle. It's probably going to go on quite heavy with this as well. It's too late now to turn around and back again. Getting a bit more of that bronzy colour out. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. I guess it's for the best. Okay, and changing the brush up. Next part, I want to be really quite a nice light blue, maybe with a bit of green. Next, I'm just grabbing some of that glue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my actions they haunt me, and I'll never live it down. I'm no good at being good, but I never said I was. Okay, next section. And sort of a grey colour again. Maybe with a little bit of yellow in there as well. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. Okay, I'm not trying to lighten that up quite a bit with some I white. Guess it's far the best, you know, the worst of me. There we go. Dark blue at the bottom there. Dark bluey grey. Quite a lot of colour in this piece, but I do absolutely like it. And yeah, one of the things that she said to me is try and make it quite colourful because the room is a little bit bland and she wanted a piece of art on the wall that sort of really popped. So I didn't want to sort of keep it to uh, the same tones. So I wanted to create the contrast, which I sort of done. And what I'm going to actually do now is there's two areas of interest that I really like, and that's this bronze and the silver. So I think they sort of tie in with the furnishings a bit. I want to try and get a bit more silver in that top section uh, introduced over here. And I think I'm going to add in a little bit more bronze into that section. 
But yeah, the other areas look really good. There's contrast in there. And I'm hoping they're gonna absolutely love this piece for the bedroom. I'm just using like the edge of the brush and I'm just putting that in quite thick. So one other tip as well to do in a commission is if you've actually got a photo of the room that your painting's going in, I think it's quite good as well. If you can take a picture of the actual piece at the end and mock up that in the actual room as well, that sort of meets your customer's expectations as well because they will sort of see a realistic render of how that painting is gonna look in their room as well. One other tip that I've done in some of my previous videos is I'm just gonna get some of that bronze and put it on the ruler on this metal rule and then we're just going to hit it on the actual painting. I actually really like that, it's really nice and thick, it's just create a couple of marks on there. That's a really good tip is to use a ruler to create some real thin lines on your pieces of art. Okay, just while I'm on the subject of mocking up your piece of art into that room, there's a really good website out there and an app. I think it's an actual app as well. It's called uh, Canvi and it's such a powerful app. It allows you to choose a room. You can import your art and it will sort of impose that onto the actual room itself. Uh, go check it out, it's called Canvi. Yeah, go check it out. If you look at my Instagram, I've got some sort of room mockups on there that which I've been using, but it saves heaps of time in Photoshop. And not only that is you can customize the room as to the painting that you're doing. So you can sort of change the wall color, you can change the color of the furnishing, so you can make the mock-ups in keeping with the pieces of art that you're producing, which I think is sort of key. And also it sort of helps you if you're sort of painting your room, you can see uh, what type of art is gonna fit if you just sort of use the same color in the room and the same furnishings that you're gonna have in your same room as well. So yeah, go check that out, it's called Canvi. Uh, it's a great app and it will sort of really help you uh, mock up and save you loads and loads of time. Out right, I'm just gonna add one more sort of thin one just down there in that section there. If you've just stumbled across me today, this is your first video that you watch. I'm James, this is Flowworks. So that is it, that's my first commission piece and happy with the result, I sort of took my time. So I did plan this one out in my head and I did actually discuss it with a customer sort of explaining what I intend to do and they said, yeah, go for it. And yeah, I sort of took my time, I sort of knew what colors I wanted to put them in in terms of order. I knew I wanted to sort of finish off with a dark color at the bottom and add some kind of uh, middle piece to this with a little bit of texture and trying to tie that in with the the room furnishings as well so yeah I think once this is in there on the wall it's going to really sort of pop and I suppose a good thing about this video is the customer can watch it and see how their painting come alive oh one last thing I've also set up a patreon page so if you want to support my art and what I do here you can go on there there's some different tiers there's sort of a basic one some mid-range one and a higher one and even on the higher one, it's uh, not overly expensive. And at the end of 12 months, you'll receive an original piece of art that I produce. So go check out my Patreon page. If you haven't already, please check out my video, 95 Mac, I produce a piece of art for charity and in memory of uh, a good friend that I lost to leukemia. So please check that out, the video is down there. find a melody to take the pain away. All I want to do is sing a song for you so you don't have to cry no more Is that so hard? To build a wall of sound around your bed that always keeps you safe